This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, it's been a hell of a year. Personally, I feel like I've aged 12 years over the past 12 months. And if you're like me, you're feeling your age more than you used to, especially in the bedroom. It's time to snap out of it. Spring is here, and it's time to get sprung with Blue Chew. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Kitchen Talk at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code Kitchen Talk to receive your first month free. And we thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast. Yeah, bitches, blue faces. Hey. Yeah, bottles popping by the cases. I put the max in the middle and pulling up in the spaces. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Big business, big energy. Big hustle hard. Hey, 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 hey. I'm so up, man. I'm so up. That music just does. That music just does it for me, man. That music puts me in the right state of mind, right frame. I feel good when I listen to that music. I feel like I could conquer the world, man. You know what time it is. You understand what I'm saying? Like I feel good. It's a beautiful week. It's a look. We coming off a hell of a weekend. I'm gonna tell you about my weekend. But before <laughs> I tell you about my weekend, big shout out to Petey. Big shout out to 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 to, to uh, uh, Nash. Shout out to the whole gang, Kitchen Talk, Kitchen Talk staff, uh, 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 Fire staff, Lavish Lifestyles. You understand? Big shout out to Ace, man. Shout out to Ace, man. Big shout out to Ace, man. You got into Fist of Cuffs this weekend. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. No, no, we can talk about it. It's all right. <laughs> he said not to talk about you it. Talk, you, it's all right. Ace for his pops. Oh, yeah. You told Ace for his pops. Yeah. And lost. Right. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Ace for this pops and loss. It's okay though. That's, 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 that's what's supposed to happen though. That's what's supposed to happen. Very okay. He made. I told him. I said, listen, like. I got a son, and if he would, you know, raise up on me, I'm, I'm going to have to dust him off. Like, remind him. You, you have to remind you him. him like, this world, I, that yeah. can take you out. I, I'm Absolutely. with it, though. Remember like, I'm, Yeah, like, so it's, it's, it's crazy, though. You, you can't beat your father, man. You can't beat your father. It's emphatically impossible for you to beat your father at a certain stage. <laughs> emphatically. Right? You got to wait till he old, old. You understand? Yeah. Like, you got to wait till your pops is old, like, like bent. He can't His run pops after is Pops had his way with you, boy. Don't ever do that again. Pops, Not on Father's Pop, Day. Pops, yeah, it was on Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. The day before, Pops punched you down. <laughs> Pops punched him down. One time for Ace. One time for Ace, man. He got punched down by his Pops the day before Don't Father's Day. Don't try this at home, guys. Did you make, a good L. Yeah, did you, did you, did y'all make up? Of course. Oh, that's love. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whip his son ass and then, you know, then, then you know, Father's Day and was the next said, day. I love you. And yeah, said, I whip your ass because I love you. Because I love you. It's ass whipping is going to hurt me longer, longer than it's Hallmark than I'm deeper than it's going to hurt right? you. <laughs> That's what the <laughs> devil used to say. Too. Oh man, big shout out to Hollow Marat. You, what's up, guys? Um, a shout out to and, you and, and shout out to me. It's your kitchen. It's my kitchen. I like yeah. it. the kitchen. Is cool, man. <laughs> shout out to Squeaks, man, and big shout out to uh, your favorite town boy, <laughs> Georgie George. Danielle. Well, relax. Danielle. Hey, shout out to the Coach Garth, man. We got a special guest today, man. Homie, I know for years, man. I told I told you here's the thing. I told people a long time ago, this is kitchen talk. We 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 talk shit in the kitchen. But the thing is, it's not just rap. We ain't we ain't we ain't not catering to just artists, rap music. We we talking to everybody, man. My guy Hassan Johnson, make some make some noise for this guy right here, man. <laughs> He's an actor, actor gang. Been in the game a long time. You been know, in the game. you know him from a lot of movies. Like one of my favorite movies is In Too Deep. You yeah. ain't no cop, Jay Reed. Me too. <laughs> you ain't no that, cop, that's Jay Reed. That that's was a one good of, one. That was one of my favorite that movies. Yeah. Shout out to LL on that one. Yeah, um, that was a, that was a good movie. I love that movie. Um, um, you know him from. I mean, come on, this is a classic. You worked with all the, the Yeah, definitely. Classic character, Weebay from yeah. The Wire. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> we been from the wire. He was a G. There you Took go. that time. And you already know what it is, but you was, you hit you hit niggas like you was a original, yeah. original, you know. Don yeah. Dada shit. Original Don Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, I man. I do what I do. Nah, I man. Do and first of all, shout out to Staten Island. Period. Oh, yeah, on the mic check. Yo, yeah, I you, see you already. You didn't want to say that. I don't know why. You grew, up, <laughs> you grew up in Staten Island. I don't know if a lot of people know that. I know that because we've we, we been personally cool for right, years. Right, right. You know? But I'm from Coney Island. You're from Coney mm-hmm. Island. It's from yeah, Brooklyn. Older wires. 
Coney Island houses. You know, me and Steph. I remember when Steph was shorter than me. Marbury, y'all. Wow. I remember when Steph was shorter than me in one summer. Like, you know, I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. All right, it's over for me. I ain't got it anyway. <laughs> I, ain't, I can't move. But yeah. Like you got that. it. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Staten Island by way of Coney Island. Wow. So what? What? at what age did you go? Well, I always represent Staten Island because wherever you, I say wherever you went to school at, that's where you from. So you didn't go to school in Coney Island. Uh-uh. So what? what you, so you probably my whole family went to Grady, Dewey, Lane. Oh, well, Grady, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good, I went to I went school. to Poor Richmond High School. So Red Raven, Richmond. Staten, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you went from you was in Coney Island and then you went? No, to- I always we moved. Me and my peoples moved. They figured, look, okay. my dad, I'm the youngest out of seven boys. Okay. So my pops figured when well, he got with my moms, we gonna get up out of here, and save his life. Might have worked. Staten Island ain't much different. Mm, it's really you not. know, Coney Island ain't <laughs> right. really Brooklyn. <laughs> they in it. They on their own world. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right. Red Hook. Yeah, no, 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 right. It's not Red Hook. It's Staten Island. <laughs> it's somewhere else or nothing. Oh, so, man. but maybe they played their cards right on that one. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what happened. So about three. So if I'm seventy-seven, baby, we mm-hmm. got out of there in eighty. Mm. So wow. I started kindergarten. You know, it was no preschool for us back in the day. You went straight to kindergarten. Woo. Right. <laughs> nah, maybe head start. Head start. head start. Head start. I went to Man. head start. You went to head start? <laughs> Man, I ain't go to head start. I went to head start. I ain't go Man. to head start. I went to head start. That's when I started my <laughs> criminal enterprise. <laughs> you it's understand? called head start. Yeah. All right. You, you know. When, <laughs> so you you get out to Staten Island. Growing up, mm-hmm. how 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 was that? I mean, it's the hood. Like it's the same thing, man. Yeah. Peanut butter, I mean, it jelly. It was beautiful though when we eggs. got there. Like then they turned into something else by around. That crack. Yeah, you know, in my hood, Park Hill Park was Hill. where first my building, fifty five Boeing. Mm-hmm. That's where it first came. That's the bomb. That right. was the that was the the, the napalm. Dusty and Leon, straight up Guyanese niggas. Yeah, Dusty and Leon was the first nigga to smoke crack. No, first nigga. <laughs> no, hold on. Dusty, hold on. shout out to Dusty no, and Leon. No, no, first nigga to smoke no, crack. No, the first thing out of No, first thing is to introduce Oh, it. okay. Yeah, let's let's read that all the way Dusty, back. Dusty, Leon, pardon me, man. Nah, yeah, no, this is the enterprise and this is the Nino Brown of Staten Island and shit. I wonder who was the first crackhead, though. <laughs> who was the who was the Put first him in the museum, crackhead? Like, now, that, was out of, that was out of. Sure, crackhead Shirley and Rambo from my building. Shirley. Crackhead Shirley and Rambo. You thinking the whole New York City? Oh no, I'm thinking from no, Staten Island. Out of Staten Island. Right, all right. You talking about the whole New York City? The whole New York City. Yeah, who's that legend? Who's that? Oh, okay, so we got to do it by borough by borough. So in Staten Island, <laughs> in Staten Island, it was Shirley. Shout out to Shirley and and who else? Rambo. And Rambo. And Rambo. Oh, gee. Yeah, you always they had a together. Rambo in every hood. It was together. Every hood had a Rambo that was you smoking. Know, it was always together. Fiends it was all so, like, it, you know, yo, all Fiends, Fiends love rapper. is it's a different. Union. Yes, it was a union. And they probably Fiends still love together. is different. Oh, you know, Fiends Fiends never they die. love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, they try. Uh-huh. Them niggas rolling past. Let me tell you, because my pops used to smoke. Mm-hmm. My pops was, okay. was out there. My pops was smoking. Yeah. So when I used to come out sometimes to go to school. They used to be in my living room. <laughs> like, hey, what, 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 what up, little man? Let's go, 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 uh-huh. school, let's, let's, let's go to school. Let's, 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 it's funny, but it ain't funny. Yeah. I would be coming yeah. out to go to school in the morning, and my pops would be there sometimes with some of his homies, and all them niggas were smoking. Everybody. Mm-hmm. All them niggas were smoking, and they was wide awake in the morning. <laughs> like, you know, that shit keep you up. Them niggas is like this. What up, look, look, them niggas high as a motherfucker. Start so moving. Them niggas is moving, like... <laughs> But it's eight yeah. in the morning. They acting like it's three in the afternoon. But they, but they giving you something positive to say, though, right? Mm-hmm. Something, hey, you go, you go to school, nigga. You don't follow me. Nigga. <laughs> you don't follow hey, me. Be good in school, though. Little, yeah, yeah, I see y'all go. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all good. You don't do what I do. Exactly. You don't do what I do. I'm telling you, man. Exactly like that. It, it, I used to see them. It used to be crazy, though. So, but the thing about New York City and, 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 and every hood, it, it's, it's all, it's always the same story. We always got the same. Set of people. So we we got people that's getting high, people that's selling it. We got the bullies. We got the niggas that's doing shit. We got the stick up niggas. It's all the same element everywhere. Mm-hmm. How did you? How did you come from that element and get into acting? Yeah, see, that's a whole nother animal because coming from Staten now, you know that's the forgotten borough. Yeah, your lost brother. Yeah, it pretty much is. You know, it's that bad. Yeah, we do we 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 we, we do y'all dirty. Yeah, yeah. Come on, it's right? really bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Damn. So your chances I'm is slim to none. Yeah, it really. I is. mean, with the earthquake we had was the woo. 
you came through, right. shook it up yeah. with the woo, right? right? So, and at that same time, it was like parallel universes because I'm coming out of school and I'm feeling, I'm, I'm figuring out that I, I, I can't ball. I was, I was playing football, but I figured that wasn't happening. Right. Wasn't no, I wasn't an NCAA hopeful. None of that fly <laughs> That's shit, always right? a tough time in a guy's life. You know what I mean? So it, it, was, it was like a real transition point. So that last year before that senior year summer, that's when it came. Because someone dared me to go to an audition that happened to be for Clockers. Wow. Mm. So Clockers is your Clockers. first movie. Yes. Wow. Round of applause. Come on, man. God damn. So your first and, that, and that was a Brooklyn. That's some Brooklyn shit. That was in Fort Greene, right? No, it's, it's in, uh, in, um, in Gowanus. Gowanus. Gowanus? Yeah, yeah okay. it is Gowanus. So, Park Hill. Oh, okay, no, you had a question. No, first audition. First audition the, and he got it. First yeah, yeah. Like, this nigga's a legend. Come on. That's some respect. <laughs> <laughs> what you thought? Listen, Park Hill. Give me some of that energy. Park Hill. Right. That's a legendary place when you speak in a Staten Island and you speak into that Wu-Tang. Facts. Who's from Park Hill? Well, about maybe two thirds of the woo, right? Because Dirty, yeah. was, cause Dirty yeah. was from was Brooklyn. From BK. We yeah. know that Killer Master Killer was from Brooklyn. Jizza, right? They from right? Brooklyn. Rizza's all Rizza's cousins, family, right? Right. And then from Stapleton to Park Hill is the rest of the clan. So that's Dak, you got uh, Ghost, Ray, yeah. Meth, Raekwon from Park Hill. Yes, he is. Man. That's my nigga. That's my right nigga. I'm telling you. So yeah. you 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 knew all of them growing up. Yeah, all of them growing. They used wow. to come to the crib with my cousin each. See, each started that shit with them too. Like wow. they used to be called the Flowers. Wow. They used to have the, the Samurai Suzuki with the. Wow. They used to have the shit on the side. Oh yeah, the shit with, with the, the name on it. In the yeah. back. You know what I mean? Bumping. Wow. I got. I probably got some of them. Um, them demo tapes. Wow. The, them That's fire. Yeah, we got yeah. like the real cassettes. I gotta. We gotta bring those back out. Yeah. yeah. Um. How those, was it? Those, that's yeah. How was it growing up in Park Hill with, 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 with people like? Ray, Spec the Deck. These, these, these are legends, and they became legends. Like, at the time, it was all regular, right? Like, right, right. But no, I ain't gonna know. front. Hold on, where my water at? There you go. <laughs> I ain't gonna front, man. Nah, niggas was special though. You felt it. I was little. When Ooh. they was coming through, they pulled up on me, especially Meth. He fucked with my cousin East Heavy. Meth from Park Hill, too. Well, yeah, yeah Meth was probably the latest addition to the hood because he from Long Island originally. Right. You know what I mean? And Meth pulled up. How he come in, you knew Shaquan, that he was going to be special. Mm. He had that shit. He was outside. He was that nigga. Like, right. you know what I mean? And niggas fuck with my little swag. He used to call me sneaky because I used to keep Nigga. all the, you know, I was a little red in Pennsylvania bus trip going nigga. <laughs> Blow my whole summer you checking red in. <laughs> with everything that's something you should me. always give him. <laughs> niggas be like, oh, what you got now, huh? What? Oh, I got it. Niggas got that next week. <laughs> yeah, little nigga outside. Got these before. Yeah, I'm in the they sixth ain't grade. Ain't come out yet. <laughs> ain't come out yet. You know what I mean? But you just knew there was something special about niggas. Man, I can't front. Wow. It that's... was. It was. These niggas used to be outside getting money. Chinese restaurant. Look, we got that whole shit go like this. Osgood, Park Hill Ave, down the Sobel Court. Bowen is right there in the cut, right? My mm. building, 55. Then they take you down to Tarji Street. That's Wu Tang mm -hmm. District now. Mm. Tarji go all the way out down to Stapleton. Take you down to Broad Street, you bust the left, the right. That's the closest two hoods in the right. whole borough, right? Mm. That's why they always had static. And you see how so the shit. So Stapleton and Park Hill used to be beefing. They're like across yeah, the street yeah, yeah, from yeah, each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, wow. definitely, definitely, definitely. Right, big time right, beefing. Right. It's yeah, always like time. that. Yeah. Project says next yeah, to regular each other. Shit. Yeah, regular you shit. You wasn't in none of them wars. Chill out. I wasn't. <laughs> chill out. Wait, Red Hook was real. Chill. So I know what Red Hook out. is. All right, so don't act like you don't know. Because you know. Straight out of Brooklyn. A lot of them was my family. Straight out of Brooklyn from out of Red Hook. That shit classic. Just, exactly. I feel I feel like you're trying to bully me. I'm not again. trying to. You tried to come from my hood, and I I'm had to let you know what it is. I'm not coming from your hood. I know where you're from. No, I'm from. I'm from. I know where you're from. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, to all the people out there in TV land that's watching us and listening to us, if you're not familiar with 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 Brooklyn, just know, understand that I'm from the greatest part of Brooklyn, Bedford Stuyvesant. It's that the is, greatest part. That is the greatest. Part wow. of Brooklyn, it's the it's, <laughs> it's the heart. It's the heart. It's right? the heart. heart. It's, it's the, the heart. We'll give it. To so heart. that don't mean I'll give him that. I'll definitely that is give the him that. Greatest part. It, you feel you feel something different, especially when, when you come from from Bed Stuy. You special. You say you talked about Ray and them. You special. Come on, think about what yeah. what we birthed. Okay, <laughs> as far as the rap game, Biggie Smalls, Little Kim, 
Right. Okay, Jay Z, fabulous. I'm give you that. Okay, Big Daddy I'm Kane. Give I'm gonna all, give you that. All I'm these people the come from Bedford Stuyvesant, yeah. right. Bed Stuy. Okay, I, when you look at me, understand I'm from the greatest part of Brooklyn. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> TV land. When they see me, understand that they that's what they're looking at. Like I am a facts. I am a. True blue, hundred percent represented. A child representative of Bedford Stuyvesant, a son Brooklyn. of Bed Stuy. I'm a the greatest part. Brooklyn. See, and she I'm didn't, okay. even, and she's argumentative, and she didn't even refute that. So you know what it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I said I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give credit when oh, credit is due. Look at us. Look at us. Great. Just look. This is how you're supposed to feel about where you're from. Anyway. Look at my exactly. socks. I'm Come from Rugg. Look at my it's, nigga socks. Look at my socks. As soon as they hear Rugg, it's Sons like one way in, one way out. Oh, you from there? Oh, this happened. It's always some, but it's not some, a, a, a we, bad story, but nah, I'm a good thing that came okay, from we know, an environment. We so know. I'm, I'm proud. Okay. Right. We proud of you. <laughs> we proud of you. And we proud that you come from Red Hook. Red Hook is a real place. Big shout out to my man Shamel. You just came home. You just did. Call me. Um, Shamel did 30 years. 30. Wow. Um, shout out to Shamel. Was a, was a very young nigga that went uh, went to prison in, in, in the 90s and he came home. A lot of, lot, of, lot of people I know that you grew up with went to prison. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. It was like that then. Yeah, yeah. It's 90s. You're coming I mean, up. Come on. Everybody was going. Mm-hmm. DFY biz. You know from them days. And I wow. was dodging all them bullets. That's what I'm saying because I was the little nigga outside like I can't, you know, the gang shit was going on. Right. I'm like, I'm hard headed. I can't listen to nobody. I, mm-hmm. you know, I never got caught up in hustling for nobody. I did it for two minutes. Mm-hmm. You know, I go see my man Dexter. You know, grab a fifty time. piece Libra. <laughs> she just smiled. She couldn't wait for that answer. Libra. Libra. You got a wife, though, right? I know her. Relax. Yes. Okay, because she. I know. She, she, I know her. Get out of here. That was yeah, not even energy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Look. Try to get my man in trouble. That's what you get. No, I'm not. That's what you get. Trying to be I tough. Rubber. He's like, nah, nah. You wasn't, like, I know. Yeah, exactly. You wasn't really getting in trouble then. Nah, because I was, I, listen, I'm, I'm doing the same shit everybody else outside doing, but my mom's had me shook. So, while she let me go outside, I'd be in the crib 11, 12, you know, I had that real discipline in that because Pops moved out there for a reason, right? Right. So, yeah, I got in this shit and all that, but I always was dodging bullets, getting away with shit, not let that nigga leave him alone. Let, let him go. So your Smash. Pops was there too? Yeah, Pops was around. OG Damn. Ray, damn, he passed away in 2014. So Bless his soul. Right. Mm-hmm. But you so got to think that, he had that grip. He had that but, special but, thing too, right. that but people see were that, watching out for him. But, right. Mm-hmm. My whole fan, then my brothers all was getting money. I ain't really had to do nothing. Right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. I ain't really had to do nothing. But, I, you know, just to be able yes, to be like, I ain't affiliated. pussy, I ain't right, soft. Right. You know, I'm out here. I'm outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah, then until, you know, mm-hmm. you know how this shit yeah. is. <laughs> Maybe not hard, but I did. Yeah. Oh, God, here you go. Like, you don't know how it is. I just gave you credit. This is a black male story. Like, okay, this is a story so what, of, so of I, young I don't urban know males. Black men, I don't know black urban men. I'm saying you I'm know, but black not. urban men all the time. So why wouldn't I know? Because I, I didn't experience Feel it as pain, a black though. man. Feel his pain. I'm feeling. I'm, he's spitting but he pain. said he was doing good. That's, he's good. He no, just, not, he no. He, he, help he was afraid of his moms, and I'm just <laughs> yeah, trying to understand no, what that feeling felt too. like. Yeah, like, like I wasn't afraid of my moms two, though. I got Look, two boys. <laughs> like I could do anything I wanted to do, right? Because the pops was always like, "Leave this nigga alone. Like leave him alone. Trust me." I, Leave him alone. He going to be all right. And I used to be like, see, damn. <laughs> That's so some right. Yo, I'm out. Yo, see, G-O-G, right? But look, let me play with Francis. She coming outside looking for me. I'm going to tell you this story real quick. Boom. Mm-hmm. I'm outside by the building up the block, right? This after we moved out the hood from 55 down the street, right? So I'm living in between Park mm-hmm. Hill Stapleton. I always had the best of both worlds. Okay. Mm-hmm. I go down so you're going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah I ain't with nothing for me. So boom. I'm outside one day, but I'm in Park Hill. I'm on the phone checking in with mom dude. Yo, mm-hmm. mom with the block, right? You're about 320. I'm by the building. I'm going to be right back. So she's like, all right, Hoss, you don't play with me. But while we talking, it's this 
accident that happened. Mm -hmm. Like this, remember the Bronco tools? Bronco. Shits with them right. little, the little yeah, short yeah. shits. Yeah, I remember. My nigga, my nigga, what you call it? Dennis Baby Mons was pulling out the parking spot in front of the building. <laughs> they wasn't even looking. Clipped the nigga, flip, boop, 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 boop. This shit was action packed. Like, Ready to uh like uh what's this hard the uh, you know the Bruce Willis shit mm -hmm. <laughs> yo the car every three time I see the car flipping all that flash I'm on the phone with my earth I go oh shit <laughs> and drop the phone it's the pay phone you oh, know at the corner right, of the yeah, building yeah, my nigga I start running for cover because this shit flipping towards the building it's coming <laughs> hitting cars. This shit was crazy. Like, how did <laughs> shit just happen? So, my nigga, I runs around the corner. I forgot I left her on the phone. She came oh. outside. Uh -uh. My nigga. She ain't know what happened. She coming. Good thing the Moravian Church is right there on the block. The 320 is the first building coming into the hood down Vanderbilt. So, I got the radar. I seen her. I just turned around. The nightgown coming. Wow. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You, your no, house, your you mom's, your mom's coming up the block. You remember that? Your mom's looking for you. Nobody seen it. I don't need me. You tried to I catch said, it before oh, she shit, got there? Let me get up out of here. I hustled up. I said, Mom, what you doing? And I ran up on her. She was like, Yo, boy, you were talking about old shit? No, no, no. You don't be doing that. I was like, Yo, Ma, damn, my bad. I forgot it was just a car accident. Nobody was shooting. Ooh, she yeah. thought niggas was busting. That's the yeah. worst thing you could do to a mom. Hold on. No, for real. She thought niggas was busting, man. She, you ain't hear no shots, but the, this shit was dramatic. <laughs> That's probably where she like this of nigga course, gonna be an actor. Because on the phone, it, it sounds like <laughs> you like, oh shit. Now I did the oh, stuff I did this. She probably did hear the. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. This nigga gonna be an actor. Drop the phone, oh, look. But I came back and look. I looked at the block. I see her coming. I look back down. The receiver's still hanging there. I said, wow. oh, damn. The, how she, but you, that was a you reaction, had, though. Yeah, all you had to do was go pick the phone back up. You could have stayed outside a little longer. Damn. <laughs> Oh, she fuck my night up. Remember that, though? Fuck my whole night up, yeah. though. I used to get in trouble all the time. Fuck you did? My whole night I got up. in trouble because I had a curfew. And my mother used to have, you know, you're a teenager. All my friends, they get to stay outside. I had a curfew. At that time, I didn't understand. But I used to always tell her I'm going to the store because she used to have me around my mother's block so I could, she could watch me and somebody could watch me. So I'm like, I'm going to the store and I go chill on another block, this block Paradise and Red Hook. This is where everybody was around. We played ball over there. Cabin. All the boys was over there, and everything. No store. One day, I was over there too long. My mother came outside with a trench coat, shorts, slippers, Everything. I tried to meet her, right? Cause it was it, it was a big like basketball court, and I tried to meet her at the corner. Oh my god! Didn't I tell your fucking ass? Oh yeah, she did. Yeah. I was like, my please, just don't hit me. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not right. in front of my friends. Scream over you. Please, you just don't hit me, my please. You could just scream, yeah. please. Don't hit me. <laughs> I told your fucking ass. And then, and then, and she was because I used to do it all the time because all my friends they wasn't coming on my grandmother's block. Right. So it's like I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get on this block. I so I'm like, go I'm going to the store. <laughs> going to be the over there. Store. Like, I the store. So you was hard headed. That was the first I was very time hard headed. Why? What did that get you? I'm I'm hmm? here. Why are you put the question no. like that? I'm no. here. Where did no. it get me? No. I'm here. You here. Why was you hard headed? Because I don't listen to nobody. See, that's your problem, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't learned your lesson now. Made you admit no. it. Because I know what's right for me. I was never a bad kid. Out. I was what? never in right. the shit. I was well, never a bad kid, but I wanted See, to do what I that, wanted to do. I was the same thing. way. That's you, my well, thing. I knew well, it was you. right for me. I honestly used to go out as far as the house phone would still pick up. And then when I got older and I wanted to go further, <laughs> I connected the house phone to to other people's Yo. phones so I could just go <laughs> out longer and um, that was oh, that oh yeah right, that was <laughs> ill that's different that's innovative that was different yeah do all right. what you gotta I do I didn't I didn't <laughs> cause you did shit worse I didn't listen I didn't I wasn't I remember the first time my mother heard I was shooting see, see? we don't have, I, don't have that. That. I don't have that story yeah <laughs> the first time my mother heard I was shooting I had a 22 rifle I ain't had no clip. I just had to load one by. I just had to load one by one. Yeah. The top was sawed off. <laughs> and that twenty two, I took it everywhere. I mean, Ooh. I shot a gun in the air before. Now listen, I, as far as I, I shot that gun so many times. <laughs> I shot that shit at so many people. <laughs> listen to me. At twenty two, my twenty two. Rest in peace, my twenty two rifle. Listen, as a kid, I had to be in the mystery. Thirteen, fourteen years old. See that I, 
It was this one summer. That's about that age. Well, I took that, I took that rifle all over the place. And I was on the next block. And this is, you know, they was having the, they was having the, uh, the block party. Yeah. You know, me being with a negative crowd. <laughs> uh, Not him being the negative per, person. Per usual. Me being, me, per, you know, me being right. with the negative crowd. Per, per uh, <laughs> our, our, our intentions was to make a scene at the block party. Let's shoot it up. <laughs> no, Biggie. You was one of those people that nobody wanted to be around because you fucked up. No, 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 no. I was pretty cool. But, nah, yeah, yeah. but what we had was one shot, right? Balance. <laughs> and it was like, we going to shoot it in the air and clear it all out. You know, back in the days, the yeah, that was the yeah, was Boom, boom. Yeah. Everybody started clearing out. Yeah. Right? Make them scatter. I shot that shit in the air. Pat. And ran. <laughs> Turned around and looked. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody cared. <laughs> cared. <laughs> it was a 22. Oh, next my day, man. my mom's. Next day, my mom was like, boy, I heard you was on the next box shooting. I said, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't shooting. <laughs> you act again, why, nigga. Right? Why, why would I be shooting? Main like, why, why, like, like well, who's shooting? I'm not shooting. Well, who, who's shooting? Like, I'm not shooting. <laughs> shooting what? Ma, like, well, I'm shooting. She said, somebody said that they saw you shooting. Ah, I wasn't shooting. I don't shoot. <laughs> Sticking to my story. Couple of weeks later, I shot my friend by mistake in his stomach with I, that same rifle. I was waiting for that one. Yeah. And my mom's knew I was shooting. Clap the homie. Hello. Yeah, shout out to my shout out to my brother Gary G. Shout yeah. out to my mistake in the stomach when we was kids. That could have went bad. It could have went bad. It did went bad. Look at my life. It went bad. And so I fixed it. Yeah, that's Shit. Cool. Come on, man. Yeah, damn right. Give me a round of applause. Yeah, give my nigga. Oh. Oh. Eventually. Oh. Eventually. Eventually. Oh. Eventually. A lot of goddamn shit. We made it out of the mud. How many of those? We made it out of the mud. We made it out of the mud. No, but it ain't about me. It's about my guy, Hassan, man. Oh, man. No so I love the way you tell stories, by nah, the way. Nah, that's that's so old school. So yeah. boom, but that's, right? But, but boom. That's that Staten Island right? shit. That's yeah. that Staten Island shit. That's, 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 that's Ray and Ghost. That's, that's right. They got that storytelling shit for you. <laughs> the Wu-Tang is popping off. Popping off. You popping off on the acting. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you got your first acting gig, Clockers. Now, when you got that first acting gig, did you say, oh, I want to do this now? Yes, because you know what's so funny? I'm on set, and I don't know who this dude is, Martin Scorsese. Oh, wow. He's the co-producer of that film, Cloggers, mm -hmm. right? That was a script he ain't had time for. Let's just say for all lack of, in, you know, for intents and purposes. Mm -hmm. He was, he ain't had no time. Spike said, let me get that. You know what I mean? Let me, let me flip that, do something with it. He's like, all right, I'm going to still rock with you, though. So he on set taking pictures with us. I don't got that photo. I need that photo. Wow. Me, Fredro, Makai, Spike, Martin Scorsese. That's I'm fine. like, well, who this fuzzy, eyebrow <laughs> nigga? Like, wow. who this man? I ain't know he responsible back then for all them yeah, gangster yeah, shit. So I'm just like, it's 94. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I'm on young. my shit. I'm, yeah, right. I'm 16. Mm -hmm. Crispy and Cleed up on the set like, yo, making a G a week. G a week. What? Gee, we was a lot of money. That was Especially a lot at 16. of money. Uh, right. Of money. High school. I was a junior. That was my Feeling boy. Feeling yourself. <laughs> uh, you know, so, yeah, that's, that's, that shit was exciting. Clock is good. Yeah, clock is a classic. I ain't know. So, I'm just like, it did so, so Robbie Reed at the time, I think. Did Robbie, I forgot what Robbie was doing, how she was involved. Because I don't think she had, uh, she cast it. That was Aisha Coley. But either way, she ended up acquiring Makai as a man doing as man, for management. She mm -hmm. started managing, but I remember she sat down one, one day in the project. She like Haas, because she knowing this is new for me. Like me and Makai was the only two dudes from the open call that got casted. Mm -hmm. Right? Wow, yeah. that was both of y'all just happened to just stumble yes. onto this acting thing. Yes, yes, because because Makai went with his cousin Slop Peter go to the joint and and made it through. You know what I mean? We all came from where we came from, respectively. You know what I mean? And made mm -hmm. it through. Mm -hmm. So that was the crazy part. So she got him as a client. Then she was like, well, hi. She was like tapping my brain. Like, you know, you trying to do this for real, though? Trying to feel your vibes where you at with it. I looked her in the face, dead ass, like, yup. Yup. What you got for me? Like, I'm here for all of it. 
But then my dude LA Lawrence Adisa hooked me up. He's the LA with a with his agent. Wow. My shit rolled from there. New York Undercovers, New the New Law and Order. So New York Undercover yeah. was your first. Well, right after Clockers, New York Undercover, and what else? What came after that? Law and Order, probably. Law and Order. Then, then Belly. Be- no. Devil Zone. No, Belly wasn't before uh, Into Deep, was it? No, Into Deep. It came was first. the same. No, that was a, that. See, ninety eight was my year. Mm. Ninety eight. Okay, come on, my year. Yeah. <laughs> Player of the year. Look, <laughs> I, did, I did three joints that year. I did belly into deep and black and white. Classic. I wanna I wanna I wanna I, I wanna was, talk I about into cooking. deep. Cooking. Into deep. For 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 the people out in TV land that don't know what that is, it's a classic urban movie. It's, it's about a uh, LL Cool J. Yes, it won't. No, it's yeah. about a cop. Okay. That shit about LL Cool J. Fuck that. You said that shit right the first time. That shit about LL Cool J. He Keep plays, going. He plays this, he plays this character uh, named God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's a and drug dealer. Really. He, he really played that role, right? So now what I wanted to ask you, because I heard he about like LL. Nino Brown type. I, I heard about LL on set. Like, yeah. heard he gives into this character. How was how was it working with LL? Was he in the character like yeah. when y'all was on break? Was he God like <laughs> yo, L, your money? L was God, he was yo, God the whole time. L, yo, L, you know I love you, L. You, you, I fuck with you. We follow each other on Instagram, all that fly shit. We be kicking it. <laughs> you know I'm with no smoke. Nah, but nah, nah, nah. <laughs> tell, nah, tell, nah, the nah, nah tell the truth, though. Tell the truth. The disclaimer game is crazy. Yeah, nah, fuck, nah, the elder, that's Uncle L. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's play, let's spin, and the elder fuck you up, too. Like, <laughs> like, like, don't even think, you know what I mean? Don't like, smile. Like, his hands Ella work. bends you up. It bends you up. Especially if mm-hmm. he's in that role, that Yeah, mode, so it's like, if you with that shit too, fine. You, you gonna just be ready, you know. Just be ready, you yeah, just be, Ella bends you up. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so we do. Look, the first day on set, man, right, right. was that scene where he punched me in the face. Oh, so you he know, really did it. Not, I mean, he might as well have. <laughs> he did, but he so you don't you know this nigga. This nigga not acting. This nigga dead serious. Yo, because the nigga pulled me to the side. Hell, said. He said, "Yo, my nigga, me hollering at you." I was like, what's good? Because we kicking it first day on set. Everybody right. there, Nia, Omar, we all there. Right. It's Black Hollywood. Right. Yo, we telling. It's the 90s still. Right. You know what I'm saying? All that shit fly. So he said, yo, my nigga, you know this shit kind of like degrade your character a little bit. And I'm like, what you talking about, L? I look like behind me like, what do with what degrade my character? <laughs> Where you going with this? He like, you know, I'm punching you in the face. So, you know, I'm just saying you, I'm like, yo, L, pause. Just hold on, man. Let me take a sip. Uh. <laughs> hold on, L. I said, my nigga, chill out. I ain't that guy. I said, we getting money. We, we getting money. I ain't worried about you fake punching me in the face. Fake punching me. <laughs> I'm worried. What? You know what I mean? Because I've seen a lot of shit get the niggas' heads about that. I'll tell you another story on Brooklyn's Finest, mm. how that shit turned into something else. Right. Niggas be worried about the integrity of a character you playing. What you mean, so? so they how got, the fuck is you an actor, He's not nigga? real. <laughs> See, now, this is where this shit get tricky. So, but hold on, hold on. So, when it was time for him to punch you in the face, how did that go? So, boom, I'm holding bag teeth just like it, because he only supposed to tap the side of the 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 the, 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 uh, the heavy bag. Right. And then I'm going to fake it. The, the stunt coordinator there, you right. know, they get into that shit. Yo, this is where you got to sell it. He's going to come over the top, and you're going to go, and then, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Choreography. You right. know why wow, they get into it, the stunt right. coordinators, and I respect they hustle. So, so I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm complying. So, but, I'm complying. but, but, but L like, cause he like, yo, T, hold a bag. And I'm looking in his eyes. I'm like, this nigga gonna <laughs> nigga slip. Demon. He gonna slip and punch me in the fucking face. That was the I'm warning. A, I'm gonna roll with this shit though. I'm gonna <laughs> G out this bitch. I'm gonna roll with it. I'm not a sucker. I'm gonna roll with it, man. Yeah. He never did. But it was all for nothing, I'm saying. It was the whole in the mission. Yo, my nigga don't be feeling. Because he was like, yo, because after I broke him down with the get money shit, he was like, oh, all right, because, you know, 
When we be at lunch late, I don't want you side eyeing me on some funny shit. Because you know like, niggas being their ego. All sometimes, right, but and you know, but that you're not in yours right now. Not saying that. You know what I mean? This is for argument's sake. L don't want no smoke. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because you know what? I heard L really be punching niggas down on on nah. on a, on a, on the set. On some on the shit, right? Yeah, like yeah. he get into his character. Was it? Was it? Was it, was it him, him and Jamie Foxx? Yeah, that, him and Jamie Foxx. He, well, I, heard yeah, I heard he, it he was. I heard it was. Any given Sunday. Yeah, he punched yeah, him up. Any given Sunday. That's what it started with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He punched him. <laughs> I, I heard it was a little rough. Punched him down. <laughs> that didn't happen to him, so that's that's good. So you Look, and, L, and then, then, then Jamie was so mad he put it in his show. He, he that's when he you know did the special with HBO. Right, 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 right. Yo, this nigga. Mm, yeah. nah. But then I was like, dang, he not lying. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to LL, man. My Edgar, you that's, the greatest, that's, my nigga. That's method acting. Right. At <laughs> its finest. That's like when you when you when you take on a character mm-hmm. and you walk around all week in character. <laughs> Just so you could you take on They say Robert De Niro it. the same way. They say right. he don't even like you can't even call him Robert. Right. Like, when he in character, you gotta call him whatever, the, whatever, whatever the character name is, because he's a method actor. I'm, I'm, I'm a method actor. I was gonna say you getting <laughs> into your acting actor. bag. I've so. been acting, I've been acting lately. I've been nah, catching a couple roles. Period. I know you yep, a fresh actor, gang man. You act period. I want to get into acting though. That's something <laughs> that cute. I really want to get into. Who you want to play? I don't know who I'm gonna play. What you want to play? I definitely want to be on law and order. I just like see, that's why I say no. Look, that's one of my because my thing is I want to be wanna, a lawyer. I just mm. want to burn like that. That what you call is my favorite shit. Time to kill. Oh, time oh. to kill. Oh. Nigga, Matthew McConaughey ate that shit up, right? <laughs> see, mm. and I want to be, I want to be somebody up. getting interrogated on law and order. Like I ain't do that. Like I just want to. Yeah. No, say but that. see now, listen. <laughs> now I want to make people cry. Like nah. that's what I want to do as an actor. I want to make them cry. You want to be a Will Smith? Yeah, I want to make everybody. Cry. I want. I want different act. Like I just want to do. I want to play. I want to get into. I want to play. A priest. A priest. And a horror movie. Wait, how'd you know? That? Oh, because he's been saying genre. this for the longest. That's a I want to play like, genre, though. I don't think I would be able to I want to play I'd like the, the priest. Up. And horror movies ain't easy to I want to do yeah. a horror movie, too, because I love horror movies. I No, me, too. I love, love horror, horror movies, movies and sci-fi shit. Yep. That's yeah, what that's I love, though. That should be a Libra oh, thing. Man, that's my shit. I'm Marvel. Marvel. Turn my mic off. Turn my mic off. Why is turn my mic off? Because you know I'm into all of that. Yeah. Nah, I've always been sci-fi. X-Files. I used to be into You don't know all the characters' names, though. Yeah, I was on my last flight. I was watching old X-Files episode. Don't get caught up with it. Don't get caught up with it. She want to be able to say she into it, but don't know the character names. What character today? Who's Obi-Wan Kenobi? That's from Star Wars. I never was into Star Wars, but I started watching it. That's who, from Star Wars. Who is he though? He's uh Obi Wan Kenobi. That's I don't know. Okay, he's from Star Wars. I'm gonna let you know. I, 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 I know who he is I'm though. Gonna let you into Star Wars. Oh, is that the little robot thing? Look, she no. you went too far. You should have left it alone. I said I don't know Star Wars. I lied. 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 They always got me playing like a thug. I want to play something opposite of, of, what of something. What well, then, look, I'm going to tell you like what this, though, man. what people perceive me to be. All right, you that's fine. Talk to me about that. We all got our, our, our aspirations about that. and our yeah. dreams and shit. I feel you with that. That's what made me know that you dedicated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to appreciate that. But in the meantime, between time, brother, take those and do those well. Because that's Indeed. if that's what they love you for, that's what they love you for. That's what okay. my agent told me. He said, ha, go ahead. I want to hear all this shit. <laughs> I, be, I be on my, I be acting stush out here, my nigga. I be, I be turning shit down. Do you Wait, feel? No. Do you feel? Because you, in, in, your image on screen is thuggish. Yeah. Do you feel like you typecast? No. No. I hope I didn't take too long to say that, like as if I was unsure. Because the reason I say that is for a couple reasons. Like I said, just now, primarily. Then I did a, I went to a, like, you know, back in the day, the one of the, um, Stacey Spike shit, uh, forgot the film festival he used to do. Anyway, Urban World. Mm -hmm. And Sam Jackson was on the panel there. Mm -hmm. And he was like, who y'all niggas really think y'all are? Not in that exact terminology, but 
Who y'all niggas? You, you, you can hear Sam Jackson say that, so yeah. <laughs> fuck am I talking about? Not that, that. Who y'all <laughs> niggas think y'all is turning down roles? Like, mm-hmm. this type cast know if you do something well, do it, do it. Right? Right, right? Yeah, you ain't got time to get caught up in that because at the end of the day, it's a job too. Mm-hmm. You taking shit too serious to where now, you know what I mean? Because the fact of the matter is, as much as you were shooting my nigga, right? The thug shit. The way you portray your shit ain't how you are outside anyway. It don't matter right. what you do. Mm. That's that's why that's why we made was so ill because I didn't do nothing. Mm. I didn't do nothing. Mm. I was this is the lines. Right. And that's how the shit came out. Right, right. You right, understand? Right. It wasn't really nothing. That's what make it special. So you can't say I'm a, I'm bigger than this or bigger than and it's, it's it takes a village anyway. Acting ain't the kind of job where it's about you. Although they make stars, right? right? Mm-hmm. They put the you know this the top bill in and it's mm-hmm. the mid tier and then it's this mm-hmm. cold star, right? Mm-hmm. Other than, but it still takes a village. So you just gotta know your place and all that and keep it pushing. Because I'm the nigga when I book shit, I'm thinking about the next gig. Mm. I'm not even on this right now. You go I'm, with the I'm, flow, you I'm, become I'm, the flow. I'm not even then caught you can in the create your own current. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is for actors anyway. I feel like people don't really understand. Like acting is glamorous and all of that. Nah, but, but I take if the you fun. don't have a job, you don't have a right, job. Right, because I take yeah. the fun out of it for me. Right. I'm not I'm not in the moment. I'm not on set with all the ooh, ooh, the run. Like I this shit I about feel, to be over. Mm-hmm. I'm feel, worried about down the road. I feel like it's rough for black actors. Right, from what I see, right, and let me let me get this question the right way. I see a lot of. Is there a limit to what you would do on screen? Of course. Okay, because I see like some black actors put on a dress, mm-hmm. put on the makeup. They become this. Caricature. What the, what's the word? Caricature. Caricature. Why don't you try to talk? I just try to talk they, big for a minute. No, but they say that. Caricature. But they, but they say it like that somewhere. Caricature. They say it like that somewhere. Right. <laughs> Caricature. Right. <laughs> and, 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 and then it's the level of, you know, would you kiss a man on screen? You ain't sucking dick on screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, we didn't even that's not a, even a question. That's right, not yeah, even a question. Yeah, yeah, you just went too far. <laughs> and this is what I'm saying. Bleep that. And get her, you know what I mean? <laughs> what I'm saying it. All the men upset. That's exactly why I said it. Some but it's some, acting. Some right. Some actors feel like they would they would do anything on screen because they look at it as acting. Right? So they'd be like, yo, if the role is me playing another man that's having intercourse with another man. I'm kissing, I'm hugging, I'm in the bed with the man. And then there's guys like, you know, that's, that's saying like, yo, nah, I'm, I'm not doing that. You, you draw that line. Of course. But then I'm going to tell you this. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, we could go, so we could, we could unpack this shit unpack so it. many fucking ways. Like Oz. <laughs> because... Mm-hmm. It's more than one way to, to, to skin a cat. It's more than one way to skin a cat. So I'll play a gay nigga. Mm-hmm. Let's say I'm the first time I probably said it on Kitchen Talk. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'll play a gay role. Mm-hmm. Now, look, I, I ain't even said nothing else yet. That's right. for y'all to all digest now and, and, and imagine in y'all mind, well, what the fuck kind of gay role after she just blurted me that outburst and <laughs> right. No, but I'm not being physical Look at with a man. Right. Because it's still what you can see yourself doing or not. It ain't mm-hmm. that much you caught up in no fucking acting that you you just going to go below your just standards and your beliefs are to tell a story. There's mm-hmm. more than one way to tell a story. Because right. then not was it, was it um, The Wire where the cop, they made the cop get on his knees? And and like suck him off or something like that. It was See, like that's a long you know what I'm talking about. No, you no. Well, I'm slow serious. up. No, right now, you it was. Names, but the, I didn't throw out names. It was. It was. It was I, I said, was it the wire? Right, the nice one shit. of the one. It was a cop. Like he got caught up in something and they made him get on his knees and something. And he felt the way after that. 
I think it was The Wire. But the, that character was Spanish the, or Italian or something like that. There is that actor yeah, on The Wire. Know. Or, it, like you know what I'm talking no, no, about? No, I don't. And okay. Because you know <laughs> yeah, what? I'm look it up. You know, but here's the thing but, though, right? No, now I'm gonna cut you I, because I love this shit. no, the, this is a real conversation about acting. No, it is. It is. I met I met Ving Rhames years ago, and we was we we was cool. But every time I watch Pulp Fiction or think about Pulp Fiction and think about the scene where he get raped, it's like, oh. It's repulsive. Uh, it's like, repulsive. It's repulsive. It kind of like. Very. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. It, so it's like, as an actor, how do you how do you draw that line? And does that. Does, oh, okay. So this, line, is the, does that so, hurt this is, you? so this is the other part, how mm-hmm. you unpack it, right? It's not going to happen for certain people like you and me, man, because, like, we don't invite that shit either. Mm. Mm-hmm. See? So it's like, as soon as he see, just said, see, see. as soon as he just said that he would do gay roles, probably now his email was is booming tomorrow. Oh, the news tomorrow. Oh, like, my God. I, oh, I you know, know I, I mean? could freak it with it's him like, right here. Oh, I didn't even know, know you would do that. Hit him yeah. up, you know? But you know I'm not kissing and humping and yeah. laying on top of no man. If you want me to sashay, listen, and then it's the other half about it. You got to know your shit. Like Will said, Will be like, yo, I'll be freaking my shit because I'll be in pocket. Just because you willing to do it don't mean niggas is going to believe you. Absolutely. So now I'll go take on the gay role. Y'all won't believe me. I played myself. Fuck if I kissed a nigga. Right. So how do you- I don't even believe you was gay, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, you did a bad <laughs> so, job. That's worse. Yeah, you wasted any time. I ain't even know. You so ain't. what's the worst thing that you've so, done at, for a role? That, not worst thing, but like worth, what's the farthest you took it that you're like, damn, I can't believe I did that. Wear leggings, whatever. <laughs> it hasn't been invited. That's what I'm saying. So I, that's I, the thing. I've, got, I've, I've been around people, thug niggas in the game, right? Like they look crazy. Uh, they, you know, the hair braided, the black lips. They act. They get their roles. There's a, there's a, there's a, the breakdown demographic. There's a, you know, for them, there is, right? You know, mm-hmm. like, come on. I, th- I never understood how fat people go out for fat roles, though. Like, it be fucking me up because I be like, that shit is so self conscious, the, the most self conscious you could get of yourself because you playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm but, going but, but, but somebody, but somebody has yeah. to do it. Mm-hmm. This is the art now. We told that's why it ain't about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is why you got to take yourself out your body. You got to have an out of body experience to be built for this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But because it's not, it's not it's you not, playing you. Yeah. It's you playing a character. Right. So it, it could be mind blowing, but it don't get invited. I had niggas tell me, yo, highs. Yo, I be like, what's up, homie? Like, and these niggas is from the block, man, but mm-hmm. they try to make the crossover. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, this right, shit right, is right, hard. Right, right. Of course it is. And niggas would be like, nah, nigga, try to sex play me. And then I'm just like, what you mean? Like, nah, you know, niggas invited me to the thing. And I went over there, and niggas put his hand on my lap. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, that, and then this nigga looked like he just came home. Me, you, I always so say, on, I always say, hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. Hold on, Hoss. Hold on, Hoss, because I want, I want people to follow what we talking about. We talking about, shit. we man. talking about people going to, to maybe what, what we want to call these Hollywood industry parties. Yes, that's exactly what we talking about. Because, you know, they talk about these rooms where people go in and it's like, it's different. You I know, just ain't been started. invited in none. Okay, so you understand what I mean? When I come around, I guess it's my aura. I can't call it. I'm not the most intimidating nigga. I ain't the most soft, lighthearted nigga. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I, I know what I'm giving off, but it ain't that. Mm-hmm. Right. So let me ask you: it, it ain't that to the homies that told you that they've been a uh, couple the, of them. I, and I could, would never do them dirty like that. Those are no, my hearts, you know. But I feel bad. Like that's really what happened to you, my nigga. <sighs> and then mm-hmm. see that's the thing. I give you understand. courage for confiding in because I can't do that. I don't. Mm-hmm. Did they, did they, so they went with it. No, no. Just and that's why how that's they the felt uncomfortable and, 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 about right, it, like that, even sharing it. And, and right, because then that might even be the more defeating part of it. Where they, it'd be they, like you sharing it. It's like right, nigga, right, right, what right. You was there, but you sure? You like, right. you're like, like but to the point you. where they be thinking I might as well went with it. Mm. Cause I might be up right now. Would have got a chance, right? I might be up, not sitting here talking to you, soaking and shit. Happens to women and, all and the my, time. And my do thing, you, do you, you understand think, what I'm saying? That shit is rough. Do you think that they invited that? 
Somewhere, somehow, yes. Now, see, I can't defend the homie honor that much because somewhere you did, man. I, Maybe I, it was too friendly. Maybe you let shit slide exciting. and you ain't even realize you let it slide. Maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or maybe it was just like you you was a little confused, but you ain't stop it. You ain't nip it in the bud where you niggas went in and shit could try you. Because you like, trying to be lit, right? Mm-hmm. And Cause look, man, when I first went to LA, right, I was fresh off of uh, I can't, oh, I don't know what it, what film or TV show it was, and I kept telling my agent, "Yo, I just want to go to LA." She was was cracking. That's that's where it's at. That's the you know mm-hmm. Hollywood. It's different. They though. was talking me out of it. Like you, this New York dude. Right try, now, that's the type cast shit. Try to keep you, you in the box. You a New York dude? You gonna get all your money out here? But no, I can count the money. I don't want to be able to count my bread. Mm. Like now, yeah, checks is coming. I'm, I done did too much residual, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be able to count my money. I'm sitting around here twiddling my thumbs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do the law and order shit. Mm-hmm. Like you saying, I want to be in the interrogation room. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do that no more. Mm-hmm. I want to, if I ain't the lead, if y'all not making me the regular at this point in my career, I'm out of here. So I'm going to go over here, right? Looked on Craigslist, got an apartment, three months, 700 a, a month. Right, went out there with exactly four bands in my pocket. Mm. For twenty one hundred of that was for rent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had to figure out the rest. Right, mm-hmm. this is in oh, this is right after the wire, the second season. Because I'm like, oh, they locked We Bay up. Mm-hmm. I'm not sitting around here no more. I'm out of mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Fuck this shit. Mm-hmm. Right, my on my third month, my nigga G pull up with Groovy Lou. Groovy Lou, shout out to Groovy Lou. That 04 All-Star Weekend, I was out there. Because you remember, they did it again in 2010 in L.A. I was out there for both of them. Mm-hmm. Right? Because I moved back out this way about 2011, 12. My reign was over out there. I ran them up. Was doing all kind of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a whole nother episode. <laughs> so, boom. My man pull up over there at the uh, Argyle. On Sunset Boulevard uh-huh. across from Saddle Ranch. <laughs> remember Argyle Room? I don't even think it, this shit there no more. Nigga was like, yo, what's good, hi, what up? Because I seen him in Vegas prior to that mm-hmm. at the Magic. Right. I was fucking with my nigga Shields and Danny Shaw from Brooklyn with the Coca-Cola shit. Mm-hmm. So I was shaking. I'm trying to... Uh, mm-hmm. Hustling. What? You know what I mean? I can't look back. I ain't go to college. I don't got a degree. This is all, it. That, all that staying out of trouble for what? Mm-hmm. You feel me? All them dodging them bullets for what? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do this. So G said, nigga... I said, yeah, I'm out of here after this weekend. Tapped out, pockets... Cause then at the same time I was just buying my crib in Staten mm-hmm. Island with my people, with my mother and father. They was trying to get the crib. I was like, yo, I'm out here, man. I got this wire bag, but you know I'm on the budget. Mm-hmm. But I y'all trying to get the crib, so I was buying this crib from out there, all that, right? But I didn't care after the three months was up. My four bands, I'm going home. You know they say four hundred and some thousand people go to L.A. Over a half a million people every pilot season, and less than one percent of them stay. Mm-hmm. They all go back home. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. So what's that? Four hundred people? What type of shit? Is, like mm-hmm. you understand? Niggas come out there on that one way ticket and got a bus a U turn. Mm-hmm. My nigga said you ain't got to do that. He was like, Yo, I'm over here. Come up, come rest up with me. I was like, Yo, you sure? That was the rest was history. Did ER? Shit shows that ain't even on TV no more. You know, ER, we, remember ER? Nah, your face has literally been everywhere. Like, I mean, I start cooking <laughs> out there. Me and Omari on that show with the white boy. Um, what's my dude named Dylan McDermott, I think? It was called uh, Dark was Blue. It was on TNT back in the day. Mm. Omari been cooking, too. Omari Hardwood. Shout yeah, out to Omari. Yeah, I'm really, Mar- I'm really up, cool Mar- with Omari. I'm really cool with Omari. Yeah, that's my guy. Omari, that's my guy, man. Yeah. Shout out to o. Yeah, good people. So I was yeah. out there cooking. I started... <laughs> But that's where I was learning all these and making these discoveries. About those dark rooms. Yes. And that I wasn't getting invited because I'm around. I'm, I'm sure so, I'm at the so, events, but I'm not getting so, invited so, in the room. And you feel like... And I'm okay with that, by the way. Right. And you feel, <laughs> you, feel like, you feel like you haven't hit that place in your career because you're not inviting some of these extra... Curricular. Curricular. No. I don't think that, That's though. That's not? Nah, not at all. I don't think that. Now, see, this shit is about how much you put into it, too. Because it becomes a time and place where you got to dig in, right? 
and I know what my shortcomings are and insecurities is, and I'm all right with those. I check in with that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. And, then I, and I ain't putting in enough for it to come back that way right now. Hold on, I, but I'm putting in work. I let people speak for me. They say I'm a legend of OG, cool. I don't feel as though that right now because I know I could take matters into my hands a little more, and I'm not. Mm-hmm. That's just for, let's just put that out there. Why not, though? Now, right. I'm, I mean, now, that's part of the insecurity shit and all that, too, because I'm not with the let's throw shit on the wall and see if it stick. I'm with the, shh. so it's stepping out of the comfort zone shit. Right. It's you have to step out of your comfort zone. In order to be successful, you got to do you got to do things or try things that, that you're afraid to do. Right. You got you you can't be comfortable in doing things. Exactly. You got to try you stuff through, that you got to work through your insecurities that, that make you nervous. Too, right. So that takes time. Why you it show, does. Why you making a but, face? But, but my shit has been elevating to to my you, you know taking your time doing right, what you need to right, do Right. Because people ask you all the time, you don't want to write. I got ideas. I got ideas. But I know what this shit really it takes, and you don't know if you're ready for. it. And I still want to act. Mm-hmm. I don't want to write nothing. Right. <laughs> I want to act. I want to jump and slide over cars. And sh- I still got slide that. Over cars. Yeah, I still got all of that in me, man. I could jump and slide over a car, a hood or two, do a little oh. action hero shit. You know what I'm saying? So what would you say has been like the peak and the pit of your journey so far? Because you've done a lot. Right. And I mean, from, yeah, from film to television, right? And that's why I'm so proud of what I'm doing now. Because one insecurity, or not insecurity, just a goal. Mm-hmm. Not nowhere near insecurity, but it's a goal of mine that I said I wanted to get into is comedy. Mm. I said because when I was growing up, man, you know, our people used to always be from, where your people from? My people's from Virginia and Ohio. My people's from um, from West, uh, from the West in- Indies? Yeah. The West Indian. Right, oh, right, yeah, Caribbean. Yeah, Caribbean. Right, your folks, yeah. so they came I don't like from... The, you just made me nervous. <laughs> Yo, yeah, you did. <laughs> you just made yeah. me nervous. Oh, so like, like, why that. did you answer you that? You just that. me just now, like... <laughs> I didn't oh, press them, I just looked at I them. I felt like I was an interrogator. All West I did was like... I just saw that. My people West Indian <laughs> I'm like, from... I'm like, from, what happened to Jamaican Mano? <laughs> from St. Thomas to St. Croix. Jamaican Mano. All right. So, so I don't know, though, because... See, that's the other thing, too, with that. Like, when you got the West Indian parents, was you going back and forth during them summers? No, I only went one summer. See, I was my peoples was getting me out of here. Ohio, Virginia, Ohio, Virginia. So I was making an impression on these Midwestern and South people. Like, yo, you funny, but you ain't really, like, trying to be funny. You just a little funny nigga, little nigga. They used to, th- they used to call me Eddie Murphy because I used to have a little box cut with the big head. <laughs> you used to say I look like Eddie Murphy when I was I little. So I used to run with that. I'm gonna be something. I'm gonna be somebody. I'm gonna be somebody. And then that I started getting into my own then and figuring out a way to try to get to the shit. So you know that's what <laughs> mm-hmm. you know what I mean. I I got up out of here. You know what I'm saying. My people they keep me local. So you real talented. That's it. But you're trying to figure out. You want to step out though. You want to. I mean. Listen, the comedy shit, like I said, is coming my way. So I'm looking at it like I planted the seeds. I did the top fives with, you know, Chris and them. Staten mm-hmm. Island Summer with Meth. That's Lauren Michael shit from mm-hmm. SNL. That was a funny flick. Mm-hmm. You know, the OG, shout out Tracy, put me on last OG. Shout out mm-hmm. to Tracy. You know what I, I mean? Got, I've been I, in my funny bag. Nah, you in your bag. Getting... I got a question, though. <laughs> and I'm serious. So you came up in the nineties and the early two thousand. It was a different me? time. It was a lot of, is, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of nice actresses. Mm, here we go. See, I, I have I fantasies see where this is going. I see where this of is being going. an actor because I wanted to be with <laughs> actresses. You wanted to say you slept with them. That's Why would good. you? That's basically what you're saying. I tell you one. Let me give you a quick story. See, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how they do these love scenes, right? But I was in tales. Yeah, right. Yeah, I did. Tell. I was in sales, right? <laughs> Irv Gotti called me one day. He said, "Yo, Mano, I got the <laughs> role for you." And guess what, my nigga? You got the love scene. <laughs> Say what? Was that was the selling point. Was I, that listen, was the selling point. I was About working out sexy was twice working a day. <laughs> swear to, swear to God, two I, was, I was doing two a days. Ooh, that's serious. Right? Because he thought he really was going. I to went sex. down there lean. <laughs> 
We went down there to lean. <laughs> and when it was time for the sex scene, I was excited. Like, Man, I was, my nigga. I don't he, thought he, like get, he thought I he was getting he thought he was getting some like bars. This, though? Was, was you like this, man? Of course. Like, <laughs> he thought he was getting He's some supposed bars. to be acting. And, and she knew it too. Like so I don't know. Came in hot. My mind, my mind is I'm I'm we getting into it now. We kissing and it's like I'm kissing and we tonguing and all that. Like and I'm saying this. Oh, it was action. Yeah, can, I'm saying to myself, but my mind is saying I'm it saying. I'm about to take self. She really like you. <laughs> Get into it. This she, ain't an act. This is not an act. <laughs> she really likes you. Yes. And she's a real actress. Like she's on other stuff. Like yeah. I see her in other things. Right. Yeah. She out here, you know, making her making making a way for herself. And we was like on a bed, and I'm like, oh, this is it. <laughs> and I'm yes. like. Like, all into it. And as soon as the scene was done, it was like, she didn't even see me no more. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Blew, blew his whole shit was, out And that's the thing. thing. Yes, but I always met, have that met question. Met that actor. Right. Met that actor. I always she have that question because it's like, <laughs> when, you, when you do, like, a sex scene or you're kissing somebody or something like that, what if it's an actor or actress that they breath might stink or, like... They, they just about. not attractive. No, like you get what I'm saying. And you know. gotta put your oh, mouth and, and, and your tongue yeah. in somebody, and it's like, and, and, and it'd be, it'd be ugly or you're, you said you're just it, but disgusting. You be thinking about your that mouth check. is nasty. You like I'm also check. like, there's mad you get production. What I'm saying? I know it's the money. You be like, damn. It's not porn I'm, though. It's like, not porn, it's but not, you gotta imagine what they go through. You, but you said you guys were really making out. But you gotta swap. Just listen. You gotta swap saliva. Wait, you gotta swap saliva. With somebody that you they they mouth might not just be might up just to had, par, or might they have just had the garlic fish. Right. And all. You don't know. Right. You don't know well, if they brush their jibs. Right. Nah. You that's don't know. If, you don't know if they but brush their jibs right. at lunch. You gotta brush your jibs. You at don't know lunch. what kind of teeth me, they I'm got. I'm brushing my jibs oh, after lunch on set. I'm like, you don't know if they brush their teeth. Let me tell you something. None of that. I was right. sitting. Yeah, you don't when, gotta, yo, ah. let me tell you something. True story. I was sitting on that set like this. Look. With mad mints in my mouth. <laughs> you know like mint ain't even like gonna get cool. Can you pass me my Can you pass me my like list like of like that? Action. But what Herb if she came to me and said, you ready, my nigga? Yeah. I said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but what Look, if she man wasn't, was like, though? Man was like, rain man for real, yes. Exactly. I'm ready. I what if her mind, what if she would have, what if she, like, couldn't kiss or, like, she, like, what if her mouth was just nasty? Yeah, that, that didn't happen. I felt like she wanted, she wanted me. Clearly she did And then they said cut. And, and then, then they said, we, we had to do it a couple times, and every time we jump right into it, it was like, Ooh. but you see, I see, you, <laughs> you know, but you see the beauty in that, like. You don't know her situation. She get a chance to freak off with my nigga and get out of there. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, that that was the ultimate she shit for her. She had you holding the sheets. Yeah. She like, look, she back at the you crib. She like, this mind, nigga is. You go I couldn't cold. do it with my nigga Dizzy. She But in my mind, crib. I'm thinking... After we uh, rap, after they call rap, I'm get we going to be at the hotel together. This is how my mind working. Right. Rapper mentality. It's, it's a disgusting mindset. It's a rapper mentality. She, 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 she sent me a text later mindset. and told me, thanks for working cool and stay sweet. And it was just, that was, that was, she, she sent me a card, matter of fact. See, that's She sent me a though. card. But like, she sent me a card. It was like, I was like... <clears throat> He ain't I'm know not, that. I'm not, he ain't you would have went for the kill if yeah. she didn't do that. Right. You see she how put she, me in my place. She put you in place. Oh, that yeah. was a, she real place place that's a real bubble That's a real bubble Yeah, she placed me. She placed you. Yeah. I know okay. how I, yeah, 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 it's yeah, okay. yeah. It's okay. It's, it's just, okay. It's just work, Jermaine. Right. Right. I don't know this. You kiss on me, you want me. But my nigga ain't, my nigga ain't play yourself. She yeah. did. She did want him. I didn't go out. him. Yeah. She put them. Um, she compartmentalized. I was walk. I was. Yeah. I was That's walking a good word, around. Girl. Yeah. That's a good word. I was walking yeah. around set. Yeah. Trying to catch eye contact with her. <laughs> All that, right? Seeing if she was staring at me. Like, that awkward moment. I heard a shit like this happening on set. Let me see if no, I'm... No, it be happening. I'm alive, nigga. Let me yeah. see if it's going to happen for me. <laughs> What's up? You miss 100% of the joints you don't, you don't take. take. That's true. Fuck yep. out of here. That's true. <laughs> so you said you wanted to get into comedy, but right now you actually are doing a series that you're doing some so, funny yeah, stuff So, yeah, that's on. been part of my journey, too. So I'm knocking down goals and mm -hmm. walls and that. I'm going to get to where you got a slow yeah, feet. Definitely. You got a slow feet. Yeah, your you know. Is your so, time. yeah, that, that Flatbush misdemeanor shit killing those. Nah, yeah, shout I out like to, it. I like it a lot. Shout out to Flatbush misdemeanors. Yeah, my God. My, my man, Petey. Appreciate AKA you. McNougity, he watches that. 
Appreciate you, Petey. Flatbush. That's right. We're going to talk about these sneakers that he got on, too. What, what I can't talk about it. Oh, the Fila. Wow. The Fila get these. Those are, those are mine. I, yeah. did, I, did a, I, did a, I did a sneaker with Fila a couple years ago. Those are KLBs. Wow. I'm not disrespecting. He got some. That's exactly what I'm saying. He got some. I designed those. Petey got some. You know yeah. how long. But we came out a while back. I've been asking for them since they came out. Ask him oh, if I got a, a pair. <laughs> <laughs> and I know if you're not getting it, I'm not getting it. I'm nah, like a stepchild. You know what? I might have a couple <laughs> pairs for y'all. Long. Now you got, oh, I now have... you got a couple pairs. They've been out for a few years. Now you got a couple pairs? We sold out the first week. Yeah. I'm not acting like that. Come on. Yeah. 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 So that baby. first week. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I'm the one with the sneaker deal. No, you the one with the sneaker deal, but you know I'm the one with the sneakers, and I think you just didn't want me to just shine. That's really what oh. I feel like. Burn. That's how your mind works. Yes, that's how Burn. my mind works. That's how your mind works. I, I like how I'm putting it in rap. Deep in rap. Like, deep, deep in rap. rap. But we ain't rapping. We acting over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting into acting, and when you see me on the big screen. I'm going to put you on something, though. I got you, though. Yeah, you're going to put me. My little nigga, I got you. I'm your little nigga. I got you. I'm going to put you on something. I'll be on my producing shit. I'll be producing my content and all that. I'm going to throw you on something. I'm going to throw you a little something. I'm going to give you two or three lines. First of all, you're not going to talk to me like I'm a little nigga, because I ain't nowhere near one. I'm going to give you two or three lines, though. You did some acting in a video. That's how you start. I started off. I made her, first of all. Now he made start with two or three lines. Start, start, with, start with two or three lines. Start with that's, 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 have, that's, listen, I don't have no problem with two or three lines. I had a little acting look. gig. I ain't really say much, but I had a little acting gig on a little web series. Nah, because okay, what you call it? Because what you call it? your first acting gig. That's man. what New York Undercover did. Me, they got they good. I did teasers. I did the teasers. You know what the teasers are? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Look. I was coming I don't have out. I no problem with that. I'll walk, I'll walk past, give you what you got to get. Look, get look, look. The middle, what? What was like, what? <laughs> oh, what's this? 96? New York under 96, February Chelsea Projects on the floor in the lobby of the building. No armadillo pad. No, don't put nothing down. We just, I'm on a raw concrete. Now, you know where Chelsea Projects at. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. February, mm -hmm. by, the, by the West <laughs> Side <laughs> Highway. <laughs> Man, pay my dues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crazy. I just did my first movie with song. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that better than my last. You did, you did, you did, you did a movie? Out, nice one. coming out in a couple months. Did you do, how did, how did you do? <laughs> How did I do? She, she did a thing. You know what I'm saying? No, that's that, a sex that, that, that was, Yo, that was no, great. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm about to say, go, girl. Go. Like, you coming in hot. <laughs> coming in spicy. I, yeah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, better than my last Don Quan shit. That's Fire. another one. Yeah, that's oh, going to be good. Rock really? City, yeah. Sean Don, Baker. Don Quan? Fire. Yeah. That's yeah. his joint? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I play Quan in this shit. Nah, but that's so I ain't Shout out front. to you, Hala. That shit, <laughs> that shit is a Thank joint. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I make a... Here we go, priest. No, yes. I, I, I want to say something I never said. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. uh, Maybe I crazy. shouldn't say this. See, I knew it was crazy. It's when crazy, because they're going to take sweating. it, they're going to take this the wrong way. Just but you gonna, he gonna say it anyway, so you ain't even gotta tell him. Just say it. <laughs> I, I want to do a porn before it's all over. That's not out of your character. So you want everybody to see your action? No, it's like, I want to, like... Just it's go like a, a, it's a bu no, a bucket no, list. No, it's my bucket list. Bucket list. See, that's, that, see, that's cool. Well, you want to do, like, right. a professional or, like, a home movie that leaks or... A porn, like, a porn. Right. Yeah, that's right. amateur could, porn. Right. 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 You want a Only professional? Yeah. I want to do it. I want to be in it. So just... So reach out to the porn industry. No, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. I'm just saying it's like on my bucket list. It's like one of those things not? that you want to do, but so you never you, do. But why, why not, not do it? Because or that be like one of the real last things yeah, you do? Yeah, we don't wait till it's all over. <laughs> I, I want to remake a, a, a porn movie. Like, I want to remake it. With on some Debbie and Does man. Dallas shit. On some I, wanna, I don't want to be in a porn, but I want to remake one. Like, I have this idea in my head that I've had for a very long time. And I just want to share with my partner. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to direct one. So if you ever decide, no. you know, let me know. <laughs> I got you. you. Might be I knew it. Like, said, there's some freak shit going on over there. There's some freak shit going on over there. She want to watch. She want to no, watch. That's watching. Wait, wait, wait. She want to be like this. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. We can make Look, out with somebody and can't clean that one up. She cannot clean that. 
directors are the are emphatically watching. They be like, of course. right? They watch it. You in the monitor? The on. I'm definitely a watcher though. <laughs> oh, so right. it's fun. Exactly. Oh, I'm like no, the biggest people in right. time. Period. You ain't whoa. do that right. Nice. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, nice. Whoa. Yeah, you, yeah. It's business. You're drinking too, right? Keep her drinking. <laughs> the truth, this is water. This is the truth serum with her. She started to get crazy. I said something crazy? No. No, you didn't. You don't have you to hire me to be the director. No, no, I the said. The directors are cool. That's just, I'm chilling. The lights, the cameras. You bringing it to life. You know? <laughs> bringing it to life. More louder, more slower. <laughs> well, what, you said your favorite movie, your favorite um, piece was Into Deep? That's one of my faves. Yeah, but <laughs> film-wise... Cause you know the wire probably the one I the one what I had the most fun on wire we got so many stories but yeah into deep probably is man we did that in Toronto y'all was Cincinnati with, y'all had Neil like, Long on there yeah and you she ain't know, shoot your shot yes I did <laughs> oh, come on give me give me, give me. let's no, go now now listen yes I did I'm gonna tell you how much. I shot my shot. My dude, Derek Simmons, stuntman dude, he's still in the business. He be working a lot. Mm -hmm. Derek got the footage of me shooting my shot. Uh, (laughs) Every time I be classic. Every time I see him, Derek, you still got this shit? He got the VHS, the eight joint, you know, the eight millimeter shit. I Mm. mean, camcorder from 98 in the hotel one night. We all was in there. Man. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> Look, listen, nah, like I want. Said, listen, I ain't shot, seen it. So hold on, no, so they know. On camera, hold on, she so they know. Got it. It's twenty some years old. So they Y'all know. Not really hearing it. No, no, we need them. We need them to really understand. You on a set of In Too Deep, one of the classic yeah. urban movies. You got LL Cool J. You got uh, uh, Omar, uh, Omar, Omar Apps. You got a. You got uh, what's my light skin dude name? <laughs> Hill Harper. Hill Harper. That's Hill the bro. Harper. Mm-hmm. And and you got. Neil Long, and this this is this is at a time when Neil Long was one of the premier, you know. She was that bitch. She's still bad, that bitch. Yeah, young black prime actresses. Time. It's nineteen ninety eight, bro. And you, and you shooting your shot at Neil Long in the hotel in Canada in Toronto. What, what did you say, nigga? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's on camera. No, Must I gotta uh, get not that work. For you don't remember what you said to Neil Long? I don't. I was told we was did in there. Saucy. How did she? Did you oh, come she, up? I had her. She was doing them. <laughs> you know, I was I was getting all of that. I might even. Said, oh yeah, I got her right now. This I, is pre DM. I might even got the number. I, but ain't nothing happen. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing happen. Was, was she, just was a, she, it was just a moment in time. She put you in your place. Not really. She did. She just, you know, she charmed me. All. She laughed me to death. She, yeah. She threw she me said, some. Oh, she, 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 she was throwing me the rhythm. For the time, like mm-hmm. you know, I'm I'm she engaging. She it down. did. She was, she was engaging. Keeping it open for Because I mean, it's a bunch of us when I'm just going, right? I'm saying a whole bunch of bullshit. They probably excuse all me, were sir? trying to talk about. Sir, excuse me. I'm saying a whole bunch of bullshit. Mm-hmm. And she just. <laughs> oh, you funny? <laughs> oh, word. Because yeah, I like that shit too. And that, that, that. And you was like, yeah, I got her. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know it. Whoa, I had it. No, us girls are good at kikiing. What? Yeah. Right. Like, LOL, well, you the duck. She kiki the oh. fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Neil. No, Neil Long. Is it, is it anybody all. that you actually, like, dated in the, in the, like, the industry or whatever? A couple. You've I, never I, had, like, a public, though, it's, like, it's, relationship. It's, uh, Maybe? Yeah, keep it real. The most public I probably was with was with 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 Ty, Rick James' daughter, and that was just for all it's like who I was feeling like at that time. At it time. was mm-hmm. you know what I mean, whoop de whoop. But I got a couple. I, I it's corny. Like we was on the books, like her. So I, I don't mind saying that. Like right, and we and that was that era, and who that was, was that? cool. Who was that? Oh, Ty, Rick Ty? James' daughter. Rick James' daughter. Right, back back, back in O whatever. You know, O whatever, that's old. <laughs> o whatever. <laughs> o whatever, it's 20, o whatever it's that's 20, old. Yeah, O whatever's a throwback. But no, just as far, and then Sicily. That was my shorty. Sicily who? 
from 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 Tyson from one on from one on one with member member Kyla Pratt show <laughs> her, with Flex her friend, yeah. her friend, her friend? Sicily uh, that was she my was the, she you, was the that was my shorty I can't you was front. knocking her off which one was this you remember the you one remember that you remember one on one I don't remember it that was show her, it was Kyla oh, Pratt and then it was her, her friend, friend. Yeah, yelling at me I don't remember the show bro. Arnez was a little light skin joint. Arnez, who, who, who was that? <laughs> oh, oh, Rashad, Rashad. You never watched one on one? Rashad what, Richard. What show was that? One on one with Kyla Pratt. Pratt. Kyla Pratt. Kyla Pratt was Flex's daughter. Feel, I feel like you're pressing me right now. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the show. Like, I don't remember the show. Wow. Wow. I don't remember the show. You don't know this girl, though. I and, think. And Sicily. That was, was one of my the characters. yeah. She was her best friend. She yeah. did all the she did all the costume designing because she used to sew. Yes. Yeah. So she was doing all that little fun. Like she used the to funky. One oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. She used to dress. <laughs> nah, she was cool. That was my shorty back then. I can't front. And then that's a cute man. Yeah, yeah, Cicely was my shorty. And then um, then me and Keisha kicked it for two. Keisha minutes. who? Cole. Okay. For two Keisha seconds. Cole. For two seconds. For two seconds. Me and Keisha was cool. That was that's that was a, Keisha Cole, not an actress. I mean, but I you said, said industry. industry. She's around industry. You said industry. That's no. why. It wasn't just an actress. I just said That's industry. why I was reluctant, like, well, which way I go with it. You go wherever you want to so go. So that's mm -hmm. what you say. Keep it real. Keisha it Cole. Real. Keisha Cole for the, for the win. Mm -hmm. yeah, Keisha yeah. was cool without good people. You know, two, two seconds shit. It don't, you know how yeah, it that is. Was cool. Good that times. Was chilling. Yeah, yeah. Was we was, was no real, moment. real cool. Was, no, but y'all. No, we, everybody was cool. Y'all was cool, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, boy, but, here he go, because he got to know details. Nah, nah, no, hey, hey, I'm, detail. I'm not here to do all that, because I always kept that. I always kept my shit cool and private, and, mm -hmm. you know, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I think we had a point in time, and we all... So, which know, Keisha... This is, I could, this is, I could this talk is, about it. Did okay. I change my mind, Keisha? No, which is the gap, we, Keisha, or after the gap? No, early, the first... The gap? Yeah, early, when we did. When the, the joint with uh, Sean and Ye. Kanye, right? And then, and then Shine did the 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 the, the, the remix. Mm -hmm. Yo, let yes. me let me tell you a quick story. Uh oh, quick story. Shout out to Keisha Cole. <laughs> Keisha, good people, good people. She was focused though. Keisha was on her. You know what I mean? Like she was doing what she had to do. Yeah, she was focused. I can't lie. Very very early in, <laughs> very early on in, in the game. You know, when I first came out, I was very abrasive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> talking a lot, saying things, doing shit. <laughs> was he lot, said? Shit. <laughs> was Keisha Cole was hot, and I had said something in a rap, said some some crazy. And one day I was in, I was in the studio, and they came and they said, "Remy and and Keisha Cole just came here looking for you." I said, "What?" They said, "They yeah, they looking for you, like looking for me, like how, like looking for you, like like beef." Like what? <laughs> so, <all right. laughs> they so back then they had a club. They changed the soul. Changed. They had a couple different names. He's like twenty seven for one. At this time, I think it was called Ruby Falls. It was by the West Side Highway. Ruby and it, Falls. And the DJ, the DJ booth was 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 in the was in like in the sky. Like it was up. Yeah. And I and then it was like a VIP like right under it. I was standing under it, and people see me, like, yo, shout out to Maino, you know, because I was just coming up. I was, right. I was just coming up. I was making, you know, I was making my name. And then something kept hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Woody Woodpecker, <laughs> right? They what was throwing shit at him. I look up. They throwing shit at you. It's Keisha Cole throwing ice at me. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, like she had a drum on her shit, <laughs> <laughs> like raining I said, down on oh, my nigga. Shit, <laughs> and I got a lot of respect for her. So I went up to the DJ booth. Let me see what this is about. And I went up to the DJ booth, <laughs> and she was in the booth. She, she was pumped up. She was like, "Listen, I, I, I don't, you, we don't know each other, and you supposed to be some street nigga, and not, but I got a man, and you saying things like, and I was just like she." Checked. So now this is she I'm checked you. What, what Keisha was. This, this is this, early what, Keisha. She was early Keisha. She was on her Oakland shit. Yeah, yeah. I, right. She, I, she wanted to I, make understanding understood. I, I, and I like that. We, we was in we was in the <laughs> DJ booth, and I had I, I want to make understanding understood. understood. You understand? Copy she, that. She, <laughs> she she told me who she was. She said, "Yeah, I'm 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 I'm, I'm out here like you, and you know what I mean." And she was basically letting me know, 
that she didn't, she wasn't feeling what I said. said right. She wasn't appreciating it. She wasn't a fan of it. She wasn't a fan. She gunned me down with ice. Like, hit That's me maybe tw- 26 yeah. times in the back of my head. Well, she got you your attention. attention. You understand? But we've been cool ever since then. I'm sure you charmed your way out of the situation. Come on, Keisha. You know it wasn't nothing. You know what I mean? It's all love. It just rhymed. It's all I just, love. I just, you definitely I, got up out of that I look, one. I looked at her like. Come here. Give me a hug. It's all love. It's all. It's all come on, baby. Come on. It's all right. Come on. Come on. You're right. It's all right. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We going to get past this. <laughs> it's all right. Are you in your preacher? Are you in your preacher mode? We right get now? past this, and we and we got past this. You know, I mean, we we've nah, been cool ever since. Cool. So shout out to Keisha Cole. Yeah. yeah. So you know, we've been a couple. Yeah, you man. Know, you know, but that that was my LA run. <laughs> mm-hmm. LA, you nice. feel me? That mm-hmm. was my LA run. 04, 2011, something like that. Okay. Then I came back. Then I got. Run. Then I got back into it. And I started doing commercials, all type of shit. I was in that Diddy, that Macy's commercial. Remember when Diddy had all the duplicates running around oh, with yeah, Justin Bieber? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember uh, that. Marsha, Stu, Marsha Stewart, right? Yeah, yeah. Justin Martha, Bieber, Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart, mm-hmm. Martha Stewart, Justin Bieber, Diddy. Who else? I'm leaving somebody else out of there. And they had that Macy campaign. That was a nice one. Mm. That, doing that them commercial check be coming, you be like, oh, mm. right? They they're, come they're every day, mm-hmm. <laughs> every day. That's a vibe. <laughs> you like, fine. oh, I'm going to the mall. Matter <laughs> <laughs> the of fact, I'm my... going to Macy's. Man, it's got three bands today. It's, it's Tuesday. Mm-hmm. The mail came early. Mm-hmm. That's the best. <laughs> it's Tuesday. The mail came early. It's three bands right here. What? And one coming tomorrow. And one coming tomorrow. Yeah, nah, I, I, I ain't gonna front, man. Yeah, it, it got its perks, man. I'm getting into acting. It got its Do perks. it, girl. Because you know yeah, people acting. try to act so coy and... I mean, I'm the humblest nigga I think you're gonna find. You know, so I don't, you know, brag and boast and right. that. But I tell it like it is. Like Sometimes you gotta let gotta niggas it. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit Sometimes is Sometimes you gotta let a nigga know. But being humble, do you feel like you don't get the credit that you deserve? Because of that? Yeah, see, that's what a lot of people be telling me. Right. So it's it's, it's how you look at the cup half full, half empty. Because I could look at it. I could I could think that I ain't as successful as I am. Right. You understand now? As mm-hmm. much as I say I got my insecurities and I'm trying to knock down shit on my journey. It's but people then, who feel like you up but, there. But, but exactly. Mm-hmm. And then niggas always tell you, Hosh, you don't be flexing. Mm-hmm. You it's could a Libra do this, thing. you could do that. It's a, it's a Libra thing. It is. You know, see, I'm glad is. you here. Oh, my God. <laughs> this shit make this good. You got to remind yourself sometimes because here's the thing, though. You all blessed. Because you 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 know what it could be. It could, it, you, you, we always wanted to be greater. Right. And yeah. we're gonna and we gonna there you go. and we got a shot every day at trying to make things greater for us right. because as long as, right. as, long as, we, alive as long as we alive and as long as we free, we got a shot at he every wanna day. Be a preacher. He, at he being wanna be great. So bad. But, but he gotta but, be he's the motivational like speaker. A, but in like a Steven Spielberg yeah. movie. Right. But here's here's the thing though. We know what it could be. We know what we want it to be, but it could always be worse. And we gotta and we gotta be thankful. Remind yourself. And remind ourselves, like, damn, Nobody you know what? Nobody like you. You design yourself. It's, it's, I'm not all the way there, mm-hmm. but I ain't at the bottom I either. Ain't the bottom I'm not where either. I was. You I ain't where I want to be, but yeah, I'm not where, where I, was. I was. And I that's think right. that's what happens sometimes because you don't look at it as if you're, you, you, you're humble because you have a vision in your head and you're not at that vision yet. Right. So you feel like until I get there, I'm still here. Right. Regardless, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm and, doing what I love, and, and, but I ain't then, there yet to feel. And then what when it I is. and then when I get Agreed. there, it's you, gonna be something it's else. Gonna be something <laughs> it's gonna be something else. I ain't even gonna have time to feel absolutely what the, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now that's a fact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What? So niggas, these niggas used to always tell me that you don't be flexing enough and using your shit. Using but sometimes what? Sometimes you don't have to. Using because what? Because sometimes shit come quietness to you. get in the door. Like you said on that one thing in Westside, and put that on a skit too. Yeah. Where you said, yeah. I'm going to stand over here yeah. and be cool for Dolo. You understand? Mm-hmm. And just make it do what it do. Mm-hmm. Because here's the thing though, because music is the same, right? So for me, I was never part of the the, the, the cool crowd. Right. Mm. I was never invited to be a part of the people that was looked at as part of the cool crowd. So it's like the kid that goes to school. It tries to figure out, damn, why why everybody, you know, over there, 
you know, together, but I'm over here alone, right? The thing about it is, is this. Most times, it'll take those five niggas yep. to become one. It, yo, because them they make form like Voltron. They make they make they make themselves and not in a good way. They make themselves become <laughs> secure. When you're standing on your own, you don't got no other choice but to be, be be secure on who you are because you ain't got nothing to lean on. You ain't got nobody to lean on, so you ain't got no other choice but to be who you is and stand on who you is. So you're looking across the street and you're looking at niggas that they the cool crowds. No. They need each other. Mm -hmm. Right. They, yep. need, they need to feed off each other. Let them be. Yep. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yo. It's all right. And, 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 and I'm going to tell you how real it go past that. You see how my nigga broke that down? I had some. I'm fortunate enough to have some of the niggas from the cool crowd come down to earth and come across the street and say, yo, hi. I should have went with you to walk that dog. I bet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't It'd owe niggas. Like that. I, I don't bet, owe niggas. You know, you know, that's right. Niggas ain't. <laughs> that's niggas a good feeling, there. too. Look, you know why, Haas? It's the big dog right you here know speaking. Why? I don't owe niggas nothing. Let me tell you what happened to them niggas. Stupid. And why they came back to you? Because what happened was they was over there being cool, and then one of them niggas, they was over there getting high, one of them niggas grabbed another nigga knee. Yeah. And he stroked the other nigga knee. Nigga looked at him up. like this. Fuck you. 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 Fuck Walked in the wrong room. Following so, behind the wrong room. That's the thing. And meanwhile, you walked into your next but, role. You know, it's, it's strength. It's strength in, in, in being oneself. It's strength Absolutely. in being alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's a difference between being alone and being lonely. There's strength in that. You know. See what now, I, mean? I don't know though. My problem is, I get tired of people quick. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I'm tired of people. <laughs> Me too. Right? You're not, no, hold Socially on. Socially anti-social. You, are, you, are, that's you what a Libra, cool. right? Mm -hmm. I be tired of niggas. Oh, my, I can't do it. But then I don't like being alone. Mm -hmm. We need like, a balance. Like, like, like I need, <laughs> I, feel that I need, I need uh -huh. company. Uh -huh. I do. It's I like need some kind right of company. Here. You don't have to be up here. You know, right, you just stay right there. Yeah. But I just need you there. But <laughs> don't be too don't, much yeah, on me. Don't I need, just, like, I need yeah, space. I need, I need space. space. I do. <laughs> Give me mine, please. Yes. And, and, and I'm understand a, when I need it. And I'm a flourish for the both of us. Facts. You understand? Or all of us. It's you know one plural, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I battle with. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That, I that, understand. That, that, I'm that, a, I'm a, I tell people all the time, I'm socially anti-social. I could work a room. I could be around people. But when it comes yeah, to my like, personal space. Yeah. Like, yo, I, I'm going to tell you something about me time. I don't like. It's still it's a, it's a trait of whatever I don't like, though. A personality trait. But I don't give a fuck. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm the nigga that don't say bye when I, I leave. <laughs> Are I you Irish? Bye. Goodbye, everybody? I, I, yeah, I don't. Damn. I don't do that. I, I don't like that about me. I really you don't. You just ease out? Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm blowing this popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually do I'm, that too. <laughs> I, I, I never, I never say peace. I'm really? gone. I always say, I always say see you later. Like, I always I make sure room, I, I see like, everybody, I see though. Later, see you later. Bye, bye, bye. I, but I just don't say bye. Right. I say I make sure I see everybody. I, oh wow! I, I I ain't let you know that we break bread. You gotta break bread. Right? Oh, all right, it's, it's, it's yeah, baby bread. Oh, sorry, Mike. It's baby. It's baby bread. It's baby bread. You never, you never came up podcast and and, and nope. with this. Nope. They, and they gonna be like this. Yeah. this, this, this Yo, you, you know that um what that, what's this? that what's that vanilla uh crown royale commercial with JB yeah, I mean, Smooth and the nigga the boss said they said. I think I think he go. Can you never have enough of vanilla? Some shit the nigga he do this goofy ass laugh and pause. He go <laughs> no, <laughs> ne never. I appreciate came you, bro. Got this, man. I appreciate you, my nigga. God, we appreciate you. I appreciate yes, thank you for all. coming. I appreciate, I appreciate you for coming up on us. Kitchen talk. It is not. This is not a goddamn cooking show. Yo, mm -hmm. immediately, yo, you said, yo, niggas hit me. I said, oh, I'm coming. That's a fact. Immediately. I wasn't wasting no time That's with my nigga. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. It's a fact, man. It's not a goddamn love show, neither. You but know what I'm saying? Not a goddamn came wrestling on. show, either. Because you're actually one of those people that we see around a lot, but we don't hear stories no, from a lot. Yeah, so. and because niggas don't be talking about nothing. Mm -hmm. Niggas don't be talking about nothing. I'm not pulling up. <laughs> you ain't pulling up. You only pulling up to the hottest shit. And this is where we are, nigga. This oh, kitchen wow. talk. I'm trying to told you. You know what I mean? Come on, nigga. Got the shrimp. This baby Benny's Come up on, here. Man. I gotta Hello. relax. <laughs> Shout out to the gang. Shout out to us, man. Until next time, you already know what it is. Got these right. roasted peppers and veggies. What's your IG? Oh, all right. H I N I K O J.
Okay. At Holla Maroc. At Holla. your favorite tomboy. You already know me, man. Ori Gibson, baby. Why you always got to say that shit, right? The podcast. Act the gang, baby. <laughs> Act the gang, baby. Follow your dreams. Chase them. You already know, man. Let's get it. You can do it all. Kitchen talk, baby. Make your way up the kitchen.